actually the only people here that are free wheelers though, are we? The mechanic. I uh, know. The driver. Tell us your story. Go on, yeah. <laughs> you have done much, really. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot. The day you decided. I jumped on with him once. After never ever being on a sidecar, not even riding through the paddock, decided to jump on the back of him around Jerby. It was good fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good oh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> fun. I, you know what it is? I tell you what he's doing is he's trying to give me a sales pitch to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was really good. He, he, he looked after me. I didn't fall out. Mm-hmm. So, I, I never, I've never felt off one. What about your angles? I'm angles around trip? It. It went and, to Anglesey. Oh, yeah, we did the Anglesey trip. Didn't yeah, we? the Anglesey trip was people. That was. Um, Tell me about the core. I did a core, lot. You've got to build a yeah, core. I did a lot of core building <laughs> How did you do it, on that job. Um, what did you do with your core building? At the bar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed to be passenger in a sidecar. He got sacked. Because oh, no, his I core quit. wasn't strong enough. It's so then, cool. <laughs> so no, then it was a core up with Guinness. It was an old air cooled. Suzuki 1200. The platform was just made out of uh, <laughs> a sheet of ply. Marine ply, wasn't it? I don't know what it was, but it wasn't grippy. Good ply, though. The footholds were a bit batten, just screwed in the corner. <laughs> it couldn't feel. Um, I'd never been to the circuit, I'd never seen the bike, never met the fella driving. <laughs> thought it was a good idea. <laughs> um, we did the first practice, and I decided. Um, no, tell her when you broke when it broke down at the hairpin. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. We just wait, decided wait. to pull in halfway around the circuit, nowhere near the paddock or the pit lane. Um, so we walked back. No, well, no, we pulled well, over on the grass. Oh yeah, and you another pulled, fella another stopped. Another fella broke it. down at the same or pulled in at the same place, and we sort of swapped passengers <laughs> at the side of the And then you went and built your car. But then, <laughs> Well, and then I decided what? to retire then and go to the pub. I, actually, I, I remember that because I was riding with Mike Jackson at the time. Yeah, you were doing the championship. And I've never experienced anyone. Me and Jack were riding around. <laughs> and next thing you know, I see Big Will sat there on the side of the track with his thumb out like this. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to ride home. He just wanted to live back to yeah. the paddock. Hitching a ride. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was. We decided to call it a day on that that race meeting. Ever since you've been building the call back. I have. I've, I've pretty much. That was. That was. Yeah, I retired that day and went to the pub. What about your, your other mate, dear? I've never been crazy enough to get well, on the side. No, you yeah. were. Gonna, you were going to do it. Oh, he does spanning work, huh? He got Is close. He got close to it. He I nearly did. did. We were out testing. Well, I said to Dale, it was "My turn do... up next, wasn't yeah, it?" Yeah, I said to Dale, "Put your leathers on. Come on. Let me do this." Let me do this next, this thing job, blah, blah, blah. So we went out and we come, unfortunately, Dale was waiting inside the track with his levers on. We had a problem with the sprocket. Oh. Yeah, so we couldn't carry on for the day. But poor Dale missed out on his ride. But I think he was better off that day because I was going to show up teach him a lesson that day. Because <laughs> he seems to reckon that passenger is easy.